As parents and teachers, we know that reading to children is important. During the preschool years, reading leads to better language skills, including a larger vocabulary. We also know that the way we read to children is important. Dialogic reading is a set of techniques that, when used with storybooks, can help children develop their language skills. Yeah. Today, we are going to show you how to use these techniques while watching videos with your child. What's the bear doing? During dialogic questioning, you talk with your child about the video and encourage him or her to become an active participant. Why? When children talk about stories, they understand them better, remember them more, and learn new words and ideas quicker than when they just watch the video alone. What time of year do you think it is? Here are the basic steps for using dialogic questioning. First, read the title and talk about what you think might happen in the story. All right, let's watch. Then, play the story and watch with your child. Playing, who'll dive in first? A day or two later, watch the same story with your child, but this time, pause to ask questions and discuss. What do you think his friend should do? What should the other... To remember the steps of dialogic questioning, think of the word peer to guide your conversation. P stands for pause and prompt. Pause the video and prompt the child to talk about what's on the screen. What's he going to pull out now? Cow. You think he's going to be a cow? The next letter... E stands for evaluate. Evaluate what your child says by confirming a correct answer or correcting an incorrect answer. What does a cow say? Ooh. Hmm. Who says quack quack? The next letter, E, stands for expand. Expand on your child's response by adding more information. Do you think he's going to pull out a cat or a cat or a duck or a cow? Duck. A duck. All right, let's see. And the last letter, R, is for repeat. Have your child repeat the correct response. Repetition gives your child multiple opportunities to learn new words and ideas. <laughs> yeah. Here's another example of dialogic questioning. Let's see what happens. Look for each part of the peer sequence. Pause and prompt. Do you know what seasons mean? Evaluate. When you season something, you put spices on it. Expand. Salt. What else? And repeat. When she's seasoning the stew, no. she's putting salt and pepper in there. Let's see what happens. For many of you, it will be a big change to pause and encourage your child to talk during videos. But with a little practice, it will become more comfortable to both you and your child. Please bark, George. Meow. Did he bark? No. The best way to get your child talking during stories is to ask them different kinds of questions. When you pause the video to prompt your child, try to ask questions in different ways. The word crowd will help you remember the kinds of prompts to use in dialogic questioning. Do you remember what this story is about? A bear. It's about a bear. C stands for completion. Prompt your child by leaving a blank for your child to fill in. These prompts work especially well with a rhyming or repetitive story. But the bear... No. On, 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 on. He just keeps sleeping. I can't believe it. Here's another example of the completion prompt, this time with a younger child. But the bear snores on. On. Yeah. 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 Another kind of prompt is a recall question. When using a recall question, you ask your child to remember a detail about the story. Well, I think that is a bear. Two mouses. Should we go see? Here's another example of a recall question. These are questions about something that has happened in the story. What are they going to do with the nuts? They're going to eat, eat the nuts. And they nibble and they munch with a chew, chomp. The next letter is O, which stands for open-ended. Asking children open-ended questions allows them to talk about story ideas and use new words. You can ask your child to make inferences about the story or explain why something happened. What do you think his friend should do? What should the other animals do? Make him feel better. What could they do to make him feel better? Make him some popcorn and tea. 
Oh, that would be nice. And give him some snacks, some party treats. Yeah, then he'd be so happy. Oh, look, should we see if that's what they do? Mm. Here's another example of an open-ended prompt. What's the bear doing? Oh, okay. Yeah? Okay. He's in the cave. Is he sleep? Oh, that's right. The bear is sleeping in the cave. You're okay. The next letter, W, stands for what questions. Yeah? Who, what, when, where, and why. These are good questions to ask with younger children or when you are first viewing the story. They will help you focus your child's attention on new information and details in the story. What did he make a fire with? Sticks. Sticks? Do you remember the, the special word they used for sticks in there? No. What do you, what's a good word for really tiny sticks? Mm. Weeds sometimes, or then they use the word twigs. Twigs. Because those are just the right size for that mouse. Let's see what, what happens next. Hua questions focused on new words can help build a child's vocabulary. Here's another example. What's that, Zoe? Mm -hmm. What is that? But is that a bunny? Gray bunny. Yeah, what's, it's a gray bunny. What does a bunny do? Boing, boing, boing. Boing, boing, boing. The last letter, D, stands for distancing. Distancing means trying to connect something in the book to something in the child's life. Do you ever dance when you're happy? Yeah. yeah, me too. Here's another example of a mom using a distancing prompt. He sleeps through the day, he sleeps through the night. So, so where do you sleep? Mommy. You sleep with mommy? Where do you sleep with mommy? In a bed. Zoe sleeps in a bed. Where's the bear sleep? Where's the bear sleeping? Is he sleeping in the cave? He sleeps in a cave in the woods. Here are some tips for reading and talking about videos using dialogic reading techniques. Use the letters in PEER. P-E-E-R to remember the general sequence of dialogic questioning. First, pause the story and prompt your child. Second, evaluate your child's response. Third, expand on what your child has said. And finally, ask your child to repeat his or her response. When you pause, vary the type of prompt you use. The letters C-R-O-W-D will help you remember. Completion prompts, Recall prompts, open-ended prompts, hua prompts, who, what, when, where, and why, and distancing prompts. Let's watch some more. Don't do more prompts than your child can handle. Pause the video often, at least once a minute. Try for one or two prompts each time you pause the video. Start with simple prompts, like asking your child to identify objects and actions on the screen. With each viewing of the story, Encourage your child to give more detailed answers about the story. Invite your child to participate by telling parts of the story to you. Yeah, is he eating? Remember, children can learn new words and information from video stories when you watch and talk with them. Talking about stories is an excellent way to build children's language and literacy skills, build confidence, spend time together, and have fun. <laughs>